Drugs are not funny, but stoner comedies are. But why? What is so funny about them, and why do we enjoy them so much? And the answer to that is that stoner comedy is an art, and it takes a lot of skill from the filmmakers and the actors involved. Is that meant to be funny? Is that drug humour? First off, let's define what a stoner film is. The usual tenets of a stoner comedy involve a main character or characters who are almost always best friends. Examples include Harold and Kumar, Ashton Kutcher and Sean William Scott, and Seth Rogen and James Franco in basically every single film ever. Our main characters then have to go on some kind of drug-related quest, either while high on said drugs or on a journey to get said drugs, or both. While on their journey, the characters have to evade parents and or government agents who disapprove of their lifestyle and drug-related antics. All of it adds up to preposterous situations and much hilarity. But only when done right. Which leads me to my next point, what's the difference between movies like Biodome and Dude Where's My Car, which are obviously shit, and great movies like The Big Lebowski and Pineapple Express, which everyone loves? People don't realise it, but making a stoner comedy actually takes skill and effort. The director and actors must understand what kind of movie they're making in order for the movie to be successful. That's the thing. Despite appearing dumb on the outside, it takes smart filmmakers to make a funny movie. In Biodome, what Paulie Shaw does is not acting. But covers rock to lose a buckwheat rock. Daddy, look at the little thing and it just roll them and roll. Ow. It's just not. What it is, is him running around and pretending like he's just escaped from a mental asylum <laughs> while at the same time having the intellectual capacity of a baboon who thinks he's a fish. There's no comedic sensibility or timing whatsoever in the direction. This is an example of a stoner comedy trying to be dumb but ending up stupid and downright irritating. Seth Rogen and James Franco are incredibly talented comedians. They know when to make a joke and how to deliver it to the greatest effect. They really get into their characters. In The Big Lebowski, the dude is one of the most iconic film characters of all time. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Why? Because his character is lovable rather than grating and obnoxious. The most important thing in a stoner comedy are the stoners themselves. In order for the film to be good, the main characters must also be good. This is a result of good writing and smart acting and directing. The way I see it is that there are two kinds of stoner comedies. The stupid kind, which critics hate. And then there's the smart dumb kind, which critics actually kind of love. The best kind are the smart kind because they're made with skill and they know how to be dumb. Films like Biodome and Dude Where's My Car are just going to be dumb and ending up stupid because they have no idea what they're doing. Doing a silly voice and having irritating personality traits are not funny. That's not what makes a film funny. Good characters who actually do funny things and say funny things are what make a film great. So there's the answer. In order for a stoner comedy to be dumb, it must be smart. And that is the art of stoner comedy.